Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I will go over the Magazine UX interface, the newly released Magazine UX interface for the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro 8.4. Now, the Magazine UX interface is the new tile-based magazine layout for all the Samsung devices that are coming out under the Pro lineage. Okay, and uh, this is the 8.4 inches right here. So let's uh, take a look at this. Now the first thing I want you guys to notice is when you power this guy on, the first thing you see is the old TouchWiz overlay. So the TouchWiz has not gone anywhere, but the Magazine UX, which is this guy, has been added on top of it. Okay, so let's uh, quickly inspect the TouchWiz. Nothing has changed with this guy. You can pinch here. You can add extra screens. And then you can populate your screens from the there's the app drawer right there so you can tap that so you can grab apps you can put them on the new screen or you can grab some widgets and you can put them on the new screen as well so let's uh, do the YouTube right here so if you grab this you can put it right here put it a little over here okay so this is just the old TouchWiz works the same exact way that used to work on the older uh, Samsung devices. Again, you can pinch, like I said, you can add extra screens, you can remove the screen, okay, and then if you tap and hold on the screen, you can also access apps and widgets, you can create a new folder, you can create a new page, the one we just did, so you give the folder a name and it just pops right there, so test there's the folder right there and you can move that right over here it's empty right now okay and the other things you can do tap and hold you can change the home screen wallpaper the lock screen wallpaper or both at the same time so this is the old touch with nothing has changed at all and one more thing I want you to notice here is you see those three icons at the bottom there's a square icon and two lines the lines indicate touch with so if I go to the second screen the line moves over to the second screen if I go to the first screen the line moves over to the first screen and then the square over there indicates magazine UX overlay so if you tap that you will go to the magazine UX overlay you can also swipe over so you can swipe right like this and this is a loop, so this is going to loop through TouchWiz and Magazine UX, either way. But that bottom at the square bottom at the top will take you to Magazine UX overlay. Now, let's uh, concentrate on the Magazine UX overlay. How do you customize it? There's two ways again. You can pinch and the customization screen appears, or you can tap and hold and then press widgets and the customization screen appears now one thing I want to make clear here is when you are at TouchWiz and you go to widgets these widgets are only for TouchWiz okay these are the traditional widgets that only are uh, going to work on the traditional TouchWiz overlay just like this watch so you cannot take you cannot take this watch and put it on the magazine UX Magazine UX has its own widgets. So if you pinch, here's the widgets that are available to you. And they are categorized by different categories. So there's news, there's the social widgets, and there's the applications. And I'm pretty sure Samsung will be adding more and more of these guys. Okay, so so far we only have one Magazine UX tile-based interface right here page let's call this a page so we have one magazine UX page you can add up to three and no more okay you can have a maximum of three and a minimum of one of these guys so uh, this one right here let's inspect this really quick this is all news so let's go in here so you see news as the sports that's arts and culture science and technology photo and design and the reason that is happening is because we picked the widgets from the news category entirely so let's add the business in here too okay. so as you can see now we have six widgets on the top we can change the layout by pressing this 
change layout button so this is going to randomize the layout if you tap it you see how that whole thing just changed around tap it again randomly changes the interface and you can keep doing that until you come up with something some kind of order that you like now you can also do this manually so if you go over here tap and hold now you can just grab anything you want and manually move it to where you want it okay so and here's the change layout button at the top at the bottom here so this will randomize it okay so that's pretty nice customization properties okay so let's add one more page so let's do a plus go right here oops blank page page was if you don't um, populate a page as soon as you create it it gets deleted okay so as you can see I created the page but then I tapped here by mistake and it says blank page deleted okay so let's pinch again add a page and let's uh, add one news item so let's do business then let's swipe over and let's add um, Twitter okay and then let's swipe over and let's add an application let's add the calendar okay you do have other things like email gallery office Samsung apps music and a video so let's add music too okay so that's the layout we are going to get tap that let's uh, press and hold here I'm, I'm just gonna show you how the change layout works again so if you press change layout it randomizes your layout okay and if you want to do it manually just press and hold and move them around so this is um this is the magazine UX overlay now you have two pages again you can loop through touchwiz and magazine UX just like that now just to give you some details on the actual tiles okay so let's take a look at this um this business tile this is the news item that we added you can actually it says tap to get started so if you tap here it is going to refresh the tile and now you're being fed news now these are live tiles you can actually swipe through the news items okay and if you like the news you just tap it and you can go and read that news item okay and then if you want to press there's a menu item right here menu button I mean from the menu button you can customize what kind of news is being fed to you on that particular tile so I can add the fortune magazine I can add the entrepreneur magazine and now I'm gonna have three sources being fed to this tile right here and you can also at any time I'm just gonna wait till this thing is done okay anytime press this refresh button to get refreshed up-to-date news and then if you go over here this is all news so any if you tap here on the sports tap on the news tap on business tap oh, business is already set up so don't have to worry about that but as you can see tap here on the arts and cultures and it says tap to get started so now all my tiles are active and all my tiles have the menu button here which allows me to add more sources for that particular category okay so I can add sports baseball basketball in the sports tile I can also press refresh to get up-to-date news alrighty so this is the news magazine UX tile and of course this can be changed too so you can you can uh, add applications like the calendar in there somewhere after you remove one of these tiles anyway let's go back here and uh, let's say you're talking about Twitter okay so you added your Twitter account what happens is you have to tap to get started and then it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitter account once you log in and you authorize the application your Twitter feeds are going to show up here randomly again you're going to have the the refresh button and you can have the menu button that is going to give you a couple of functions so these are live tiles 
they are also customizable and they are also um, you can interact with them so like I said this is the news thing you can swipe over just like Flipboard and go to the next news item you can do the same on your Twitter when you have your feeds you can flap through the feeds and same with the music alrighty but that basically covers everything on the new interface and uh, let's just take a look at the notification center so you still have the notification center so let me just clear that oops on the top you have extra options if you press this uh, four squares up on the top you get all the quick toggles that you have and you can press that pen button and you can customize the quick toggles okay but as far as your um you know the magazine UX goes you still have TouchWiz right here TouchWiz works just like the old one you can add widgets apps and the widgets that you go through the app drawer are only for touch with the widgets here will not work on magazine UX okay just remember that with magazine UX you have your own widgets that are going to be updated every now and then so to start we don't have that many but we'll, I'm sure we'll get much more and again you have the app drawer button at the at the bottom here so if you want to access an app application quickly from your magazine UX overlay you don't have to go to touch with you can just tap this go to apps and pick an app that you want to use and one final thing you cannot disable touch with or magazine UX so you have to have a minimum of one touch with page so you can take this off okay so cancel that so you have to have at least one touch with app and you have to have one magazine UX page so take that off okay and you can loop through these guys minimum of one of each alright so that brings us to the end of this video uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos to come uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and also you can go ahead and connect with me socially on Google Plus Facebook and Twitter for which all the links are in the description below Thank you again, and I'll see you the next time. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, just throw them down in the comments section below.